Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our Worm Unlimited Worm Online tutorial series. We're here on the Mythmar server, and today we're going to talk about quality of items and how to improve items with blacksmithing. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a forge, right? A forge is uh, created um, with bricks and clay. 10, 11 bricks, 11 clay, you create a forge. I have went ahead and improved my forge. If I inspect it, I can uh, click it, examine it, and it's going to tell me that my quality is 31. We're going to go ahead and light the forge. I'm going to activate my flint and steel, double click on it. I'm going to have my kindling inside of my inventory. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go ahead and light. Alternatively, you can go ahead and push the light on the quick bar button as well. I'm going to go ahead and add a log so I can have the fire burn longer. Like I said, you can click the forge, you can click the quick start icon here or the shortcut, or you can right click after you activated your log and burn. And that's going to allow my forge to burn probably for about 15, 20 minutes. So if I open my forge, we'll see that I have different quality of items in here. I want to show you how quality of item actually affect your chance of success when you're creating or when you're improving. So let's get started. First, we're going to use the small nails uh, just to kind of show you how the quality of an item will affect your success of creating. So I'm going to use this two quality nail over here. I'm going to use this plank that's for quality. And it's going to tell me that it's going to, in order to create a wood altar, it's going to be 48% chance with these quality items. Now, if I use the small nail here, that's 48 quality, I replace it, look at my chance to create now to 68% chance. I mean, that's huge, right? Uh, so, likewise, if you're going to improve items, okay, the higher quality of tools that you need to improve, um, such as a hammer, a whetstone, a pelt, water, you can't really change water it's always a hundred quality so you don't have to worry about that we're gonna go ahead and uh, improve uh, some of these items here to show you that how improving works so first off you have to let it warm up to glowing hot so right now it's just searing hot while we're at it let's go through the items we need for blacksmithing to improve you're gonna need a pelt I, I found a dog poor dog rest in peace I killed him. I butchered him using a butchering knife. Uh, it gives you a greater chance of uh, dropped items such as pelts, meat, um, fat, and other, you know, depending on what the creature glands and paws and etc. Uh, a whetstone you create uh, from uh, using a stone chisel on a rock shard and you create a whetstone. Uh, whetstones, the higher quality of rock shard that you have, the higher quality of whetstone that you can get. Water, I usually carry a cauldron which has 64 kilograms of water. For this example, we're just going to use a small bucket which carries 12 kilograms of water. And of course, you need your hammer. And the higher quality of hammer, the greater chance of success you'll have. Hammer can be created from a hammerhead and a handle. And uh, if you have any questions about your recipe, you can go ahead and open your crafting table. You can click on your recipe and you can type in hammer and you'll see a hammer takes oh a shaft and a hammer head in order to create a hammer head it takes a small let's make this bigger small anvil and an iron lump okay so uh, oh I should also point out that the higher quality of the item the faster it's going to warm up so these 50 quality items are already glowing from the heat compared to these low uh, single digit items three and two that are still only searing hot so let's go ahead and prove let's say this small anvil now my blacksmithing skills isn't very high but you can see here that this small anvil requires a whetstone uh, this requires an uh, iron an iron lump and it and if we actually inspect it you know click it uh well right click and examine it will say uh it tells you it is searing hot it can be improved with a lump 
Now this is important when you're trying to improve things like altar or forges where you don't really know what you're going to need. If you right click and examine this forge, it's going to tell me in order to improve this forge, I need to uh, use a stone chisel. I wonder if I go over here to my altar, right click the altar, examine, it's going to tell me uh, I'm going to need a rock shard. So that's how you find out what items you need when you want to improve. So let's go ahead and improve this small anvil. I'm going to double click or activate my whetstone. Alternatively, if you dragged it into your tool belt, if you had a tool belt that was higher quality, higher quality tool belts give you more slots for hotkeys. Uh, you can go ahead and drag it in as a hotkey, push one or double click to activate. Or, you know, I think you can actually, huh, I thought you could right click and activate. But anyway, so you activate your whetstone, you find the item you want to improve, right click on it and sharpen or improve. Oh, I need to repair it first. That's excellent. Right click, repair. Perfect. We'll go ahead and repair this. Actually, if you have a whole stack of things, um, two or more, you can just take the the highest the, the highest parent group, right click, and you can repair, and it'll go ahead and repair everything in that group. For example, I want to do this one. Now, I'm going to be honest. I really hate using the right click menu, so I go ahead and bind I to improve and bind R to repair. Uh, by pushing F1, you can go in the console or you can use this hotkey here. Um, that way I can just do it quickly with I and R. So let's go ahead and improve the small anvil. Stop wasting time. Right click, sharpen. There it goes. I'm sharpening the anvil. Oh, I made a damage, so I'm going to repair it. I'm going to right click, sharpen. I actually just go ahead and queue both these up. Oh, now I need my, my lump. So I have a lump. It has to be glowing hot from the heat. A lump, a, hot, a lump that's not glowing hot will not work. I'm going to activate my lump, my lump in the trunk, and proof. I mean, seriously, this is this is all it takes in order to to make your items higher. The reason why I'm failing so much is because my blacksmithing skills. I mean, it's only 20. That's really not even high enough to improve this. Yeah, that's just, this is how it is. Now, if I want it, if it was a small anvil, and I right-clicked and I improved, okay, it will improve. I mean, look at that. that that's a great jump right there. Um, so just to, just to recap here, quality of item affects the quality of creation. For example, I take this 50 quality small anvil, I bring it over to my crafting table, and I take this 58 quality lump and you're gonna see in order to create a large nail it's 84% um, chance of creation you know these are all also dependent on your other skills such as blacksmithing but just remember that quality effects compared to if I put in this three quality lump Oh, uh, well, that doesn't help. So the quality of the anvil, and I use this 9 quality anvil, my large nails go down to 70%. Uh, that's kind of the basics of, of crafting. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Leave a comment below anyways. Come join us on the server, Mythmore. Uh, we just released a patch that allows us to have unrestricted priests. So that means you can priest and not worry about not being able to build, not worrying about uh, not being able to improve. Uh, it's going to be really fun, actually. So enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.